Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Is that working? Yeah, it's working. Hi. What are we doing today, Troy? Oh, we're doing a music video uh, intro for my album that's coming out. I'm so excited. Gosh, how long have you been working on this? I've been working on this for two months, but I've been talking about it for years. We'll make history in Filipino music. Anisita. Dining halaw nga kagabhiun, tuguti nga awitan ko ikaw. Butyag ko kanino ang tinuod kong gipati. Gigugma ko ikaw. Gugma nga nagagigkan sa kinuyukang dapit nining akong balatian. My name is Troy Loretta. I'm a musician and I was born and raised on the island of Oahu, Hawaii. A local boy from Kalihi, and it truly is a paradise. I was born to two Filipino parents, Joseph and Martiniana Loretta. My mom was a hairdresser and my dad was a merchant marine. I think the story goes my mom was his hairdresser and he asked her out on a date and they were married within a month. They had me and my little sister Chessa. Me and Chessa, we did everything together. It was just the two of us, so we really had to find ways to make our own fun, whether it was music, art, dance, and there was always some kind of production going on, which I made my sister do all the time. How you doing? Thank you for watching our first video of Heart of Gold and Shining Star. Music videos. <laughs> teleseries. I even got my cousins to be on it. I started playing piano when I was six and started singing with my sister when I was 10. And I was rehearsing with her one day and I told her, Chess, we gotta put something together, a brother and sister team. And that's when we formed A2C. <laughs> Being in A2C was amazing because I got to create music with my sister and learned a lot along the way. I remember lugging our piano and amplifier and microphone all over town in Hawaii to every birthday, every event, opening for every concert. And we just really loved music and wanted to make a name for ourselves. So we kept at it and we just kept going and we knew together we would be unstoppable. Graduated from high school, and in 2006, my family packed our bags and we moved to Los Angeles. Hollywood, baby! I wanted to study music production for college, and after I finished, I just remember auditioning everywhere. Every club gig, church gig, you name it, I was there. And one day I got a phone call from music legend David Foster, and he was the one that gave me my first big gig. international singing sensation, Sharice Pempenko. I was stoked. Working with Sharice was one of the greatest moments in my life. I really learned a lot of what it takes to work as a musical director and producer for an artist. And we traveled the world together, we sang together, we've cried together, laughed together, and I owe a lot to Sharice, my kapatid. Sharice and David Foster had put so much trust in me that I wanted to give them the best. I truly owe them a lot. Sanctuaries. As my career moved on, I got the opportunity and the honor to work with so many different legendary artists from all over the world, 
all different backgrounds, across all different styles and genres, and it's a blast. It's been such an amazing ride, and I'm truly lucky. Being able to work with the people that you love and people that you've looked up to since childhood is surreal and something that I never take for granted. It's an honor. Music has taken me to places that I could only imagine back home in Hawaii. And I'm just so grateful to everyone that continues to trust me with their art and continue to make beautiful music together. 2020 was incredibly difficult for everybody, especially musicians. Live music was canceled, no shows were going on, everybody was on lockdown. And that's when I had this idea for Kaipigan, and I called my friend Jonathan Manalo. Yes, I remember that one night I got a random call from my good friend, Troy Loretta. I mean, he talked about a project that he he's passionately into, that he wants to do as a way uh, to give back to the community and at the same time to honor the, the roots, his, his Filipino music roots. So we are so proud of him, the things that he has achieved being a Filipino American musician in the United States working with such uh, legendary acts in the in in the USA. So my big congratulations to you, my brother Troy. We'll always be here to support you. We are so proud of you over here in the Philippines. More power to you. Over the years, I've had the privilege of working with some of the best musicians in the world. Truly world-class talent. And collectively, these musicians have worked with Beyonce, to Puff Daddy, to Lady Gaga, to Ariana Grande, to David Foster. I'm Justin Klunk, and I am the saxophonist and video editor for Kaibi Gun. Working with Troy has been so much fun. Troy's been like a big brother to me on tour for about eight years now. And when Troy called me up, explained the project, and you could just hear how passionate and how excited he was about this, my immediate response was yes, and how quickly do you need these saxophones by? So shortly after that, Troy started sending me the music to learn for this, and I have to say, it is the first time I got to sit down and really listen to OPM, and I loved it. It is some of the most rich and dynamic and just musically dense pieces of music that I've gotten to hear, and recording on this has just been so much fun. Troy, fantastic work on Kai Bigon. Congratulations, and I cannot wait to see what's to come. When we would have rehearsals with these bands, you know, everything would sound so tight and so phenomenal, and I would always find myself daydreaming. Like how cool it would be if these bands were to play Filipino music, how they would interpret it, how big and epic we would make it, and you know, how we would make it our very own. Well, I've known Troy for a few years now, and when he asked me to be a part of this project, of course I jumped at the chance to be a part of a project that he was putting together that was so near and dear to his heart. And I respect Troy so much as a musician that I knew that anything that he was going to create was gonna be incredible. And it was really inspiring that we could still make such an incredible album given the restrictions that we were placed under. Um, and so I'm obviously not Filipino, but working on this incredible Filipino music was a really cool you know, insight into a world and a culture that hopefully I can learn more about the more and more I work with Troy and, um, and other great Filipino artists of which there are many, many incredible artists over the years. So I really appreciate being let in a little bit to the uh, another culture, you know? These musicians throughout the years have become more like a family I respect them so much and I learn something new every day and I love them. Now when I tell you that I love big voices,
11, 11 p.m. and I'm about to do a recording with Jake Zyrus, my long time, long time kapati. Ikaw kapati. Um, is there any like verse that you want No, the only part, the only part I still want to try kapati is that nagahi gugmai. But everything else, I think I have. Okay. Working on Osahai with Troy was actually really amazing. I, uh, I was already familiar with the song because Troy and I performed Osahai a long time ago. But it was still challenging because it was uh, it's a different dialect. It's Bisaya. And it's not something that, um, obviously, I speak uh, every day. I speak Tagalog. And um, that was the challenging part because the rest of uh, the artists from Kaibigan um, had the same challenge, but uh, they had to sing in Tagalog. So Troy and I talked. Um, that I needed to uh, to sing something challenging as well, and we thought um, about Osahai. And um, I had to be, I was really careful uh, recording the song because I know that the song is really close to his heart. <laughs> Osahai, magamahay ako. Nga nung nabuhi pa Ning kalibutan <laughs> And I think my favorite part of recording the song was um, just us being emotional about it because it was my first time recording with Troy after my transition and I believe it was his first time as well hearing me sing in the studio after my transition and um we were just feeling it, you know? And it was definitely one of the best sessions I've ever had in my life. And knowing Troy as a producer, as a musical director, he's very perfectionist. Uh, he's very professional. And um, he he just always, he pushes you to always be the best, you know? And his music and, and his arrangements, they they always make you feel like a star. And that's, that's why I always feel. You know, and I'm just really blessed to be a part of your album, Troy. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for believing in our talents. And thank you for for being not my KB yet, but my brother. Thank you for everything. Congratulations. We love you. And God bless you, Kapatid. Well, you can keep it candy. I got you on candy camera, Shalaya, girl. Oh, we got Shalaya here. <laughs> Shalaya Frazier is one of the greatest singers on the fucking planet. Oh, and she's about to joy. sing. Let's do a little bit. Let's, Let's do, do you little wanna little give him a little something? Let's just like sing along to this. <laughs> In the studio with Pia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she fucking killed it, y'all. <laughs> Troy's amazing. Anything that Troy asks for, his vision is so precise, so incredible, and his musicality is so amazing. So when he asked me to do this, of course, I love the Philippines. So I said, sign me up 110 percent it was such a beautiful process he was so patient and nurturing learning the language and you know teaching us these beautiful songs that you know we actually listen to on tour oh my god i love opium music it's so emotional and it's so powerful and passionate and i just I mean, I, I love Regine Velasquez so much, and I love the Filipino artists. I mean, I just think they're some of the best vocalists there. I remember when I went to Manila a few years ago for American Idol, we performed, and they knew every single word. They had such a different appreciation for music and for singers, and so I just absolutely love it, and I cannot wait to come to the Philippines. I recorded Nicole Scherz in here last night, y'all. That is, I don't know, I have no words.
Every single artist on this album gave their heart and soul when they recorded these songs. And these are songs of my childhood. And to be able to hear them sing in my language was just such an experience that I, I will never forget. Every word, every melody, every inflection, I wanted to make this perfect for the Philippines. We deserve it. Girl, that's it. That's oh, sweating over here. <laughs> I don't know what my brain. Oh Lord, I have one more, no, two more songs, and my Kaibigan project is done. So it's been a journey, a freaking journey. So many stems, so little time. Deciding who was gonna mix Kaibigan was such an easy decision for me. I had to call my mixer engineer friend, Jorge Vivo. It was so great to work with Troy on this record. I've actually known him for over a decade and uh, we never got to work on a record together. We've traveled around the world. Uh, we've done many live shows with David Foster and uh, never done a record. And when he called and he said, I have this idea, I thought he was so brilliant. And uh, he's got such a deep understanding of music and he's such a fan of this kind of music himself. So you can tell, you can tell when you listen to the record, there's so much passion put into it because uh, when somebody is working on something that they truly believe on, um, it just shows. So uh, it's it's been quite a ride with, with him, uh, but this record is actually the icing on the cake. Uh, I'm looking forward to many more. Working on Kaibigan was one of my biggest efforts in 2020. It started off as a dream that I had you know, put aside on the back burner for years, and it was finally happening. I was super nervous, anxious. I didn't know what to feel. Filipino people know good music. And as the release date approached, there was just so many things going through my head, so many things to do. Will they like it? Will they hate it? But I had the support of my entire family and all my friends. And they really, really helped make this dream a reality. Not just for me, but for the culture, for the Philippines, for my people. <laughs> And did I mention we had a good ass time when making this album? Literally the time of my life. Creating music, doing what you love with friends and family, it doesn't get any better than that. My sister, she's so talented. I mean, show what you're working on for the album. He says, put it up, I mean, Clunk Funk, he's not only a saxophone player, he's a videographer, which is... Everyone did so much for me, and I'm forever grateful. I'm honored. I know the gifts that you, you both have been anointed with, and I'm honored that you would ask me to be a part of your project and to help me reconnect and give back in some small way to, to where we come from, our people, our heritage. And it's, it's awesome. And um, I'm just so grateful that God put us all together and, um, and may we continue to grow stronger through him. Amen. Love you guys. Love you, Love you, guys. Love you, Love you <laughs> No. I just listened to my album front to back. It just got it mixed and mastered, and um, I'm just really excited for everyone to hear what we did, man. Like, it's just so beautiful, and like, I this music is just like my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, Filipino music, and I just hope that. No matter what happens, whatever like the outcome is, like I just want people to 
to understand and respect and, and what's coming from, like, like from me, you know what I'm saying? November 22nd, 2020, the day I've been dreaming about. Imagine international artists singing Pinoy love songs. Well, award-winning film and musical director Troy Loretta made that happen. Iba bandila sa international stage ang musikang Pinoy sa pambihirang pagsasanib ng mga Pinoy at international artists. Narito naman ang trending balita ngayong umaga. Pinagsama-sama ng isang Phil M. musical director ang ilang foreign singers para kumanta ng isang all OPM album. At Then when he asked me, I was like, are you kidding me? It's an honor. It's my honor to be a part of this. So I jumped on it right away. I just want to tell Troy that we are very proud of you trying to push our music to the international scene. And, and it's wonderful. Introducing the world to OPM music is one of my greatest honors. My culture has impacted my life in ways I can never fully express. This music gave me the confidence and the strength to find my voice, follow my dreams, and to always be proud of who I am. And if Kaibigan can be that voice for the little Filipino boy or girl with a dream, to help them find their voice, then it was all worth it. Lahat ng ito ay nangyari ng dahil po sa inyo. Taos puso po akong nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga tao na sumuporta na maisa katuparan ang isa sa aking mga pangarap. Hindi po ako magsasawa na maibahagi sa buong mundo ang ganda ng ating musika. Ako po si Troy Laurera. Ako po ay Pilipino. Nagpapasalamat sa inyo, mga kaibigan. Thank you.